<laughs> it's like warfare. It's 95% boredom hanging around, 5% pure mayhem. Come on, hurry up. Get it. It's the start of the autumn bird migration, the highlight of the twitching calendar. It's when rare foreign birds can get lost and end up on our shores. And it's those birds that twitchers are desperate to see. This is a film about some of the most driven twitchers in Britain. It's an absolute high, it's a buzz, it's you know, an adrenaline buzz. There's just something about birds, it's just, you know, it's like nothing else and the Craig family are facing an even tougher challenge. Trying to see as many birds as they can in a single year for what's known as a year list. When you're focused on trying to see a bird for your list, that in itself is actually stressful. Is it still going to be there? We've gone all this way, should we have come, should we have bothered? And then when you do see it, it really makes it worthwhile. The major rare birds, the rarest of all, are nicknamed megas. Some of them get lost, some of them wind up here totally unexpectedly, and you get that thrill of, wow, look at that. It's just come all the way from you know, North America, Asia, Africa. Look at bird like speaking. When a rare bird is spotted, it gets called into a hotline. And a pager service costing hundreds of pounds a year alerts twitchers to the breaking news. Do you know which way it went? He didn't even see it. He heard it. Mr. East Blackpool, about 350 teal. Hi, is that Steve? Um, I couldn't quite catch where you were. You never know how long these birds are going to stick around. When there's migration going on, any twitcher is always on the alert for something interesting, whether just down the road or at the other end of the country. The life list isn't the only one that twitchers take seriously. There's also the year list, spotting as many different species as possible in a single year. You need absolute dedication for that because it's, it's really hard work. It really takes a lot out of you, you know. You've got to have incredible stamina to, to do a year list. I do a bare minimum of 68,000 miles. It's 365 days a year. It's, uh, it's not the sort of thing for a lot of people. Chris Craig is also devoting all of his spare time to year listing. So far, he's seen 310 birds and is currently in second position behind Lee. It's just part of the way of life, really. It's, it's quite normal. You're not focused on anything else for the weekend, so it kind of everything else drops away, and this is the, the focus. Total release. Chris goes twitching with his wife, Helena, and their seven-year-old daughter, Maya Rose. It's really important for us to sort of bird as a family. We all want to go, so it's sort of all or nothing, really. The year listing was a way of, I suppose, re-inspiring ourselves and, and motivating ourselves to, to go out and, uh, and, and see, see birds sort of every weekend. The target at the beginning of the year was to see 300, which I'd never done in a year, which is kind of a, a landmark, if you like, in the UK. So we all, we all managed to do that by the end of August. So it was like, OK, we might as well carry on going, really. <laughs> like, see what we can get to, wasn't it? When we got together, I remember someone pointing him out and saying, he's a twitcher, you know. And uh, I didn't even really know what a twitcher was. I just thought, oh, that's something a bit odd. <laughs> Helena would famously said to me, if you think I'm ever going to be getting out of bed in the middle of the night to go and see a bird, you must be joking. And look at him now. Everyone gets sucked into it eventually. <laughs> the Craigs have been taking Maya twitching since she was nine days old. Her fourth word was birdie, and she was actually pointing at a black lark at the time. And this year, she's also made her debut on the lists. Do you want to show your list? Oh, um, do I have to? No, you don't have to, but I can. I'll knock on this mummy. Don't knock on this me. It's my list. I'm the list there. Oh, I don't think you are. I'm second. And were you first before? Um, yeah. 
Why has that changed? Um, because Lee updated. But competition from such a young recruit has ruffled a few feathers. An anonymous email about her was even sent to a listing website. And what did someone on Facebook think? That we're just putting random birds on there and that I should have my list taken off. Did they not believe that you'd seen a black brad albatross? Is that the problem? Yeah. What, because you were seven? Yeah. It's Saturday morning. And like every weekend so far this year, the Craigs are heading off from their home in Somerset to see as many rare birds as they can, wherever in the UK they may be. Which bird are you off to see now, do you know? Um, they don't usually tell me. It's a surprise, is it? Yeah, it's usually a surprise. First stop, Warwickshire, to look for a rare bird called an aquatic warbler. What do you need to be a twitcher? You need patience and good eyesight. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got patience? Kind of. Mm. Have you got a good eyesight? Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Ridiculous optimism. <laughs> What's <laughs> that? Being Ism. very hopeful. Believing Always looking on the... I'm hopeful on quite a few birds, but I'm not hopeful on this one. No. It's probably right. <laughs> See the bird? Tim? Have you seen the bird? No. Dad, can we go now? There's definitely no sign of it. Look, the sun's come out my ear. <laughs> it's not there. <laughs> No, I think it probably went um, yesterday daytime. Go on there, Han. You've been a good girl, really. It gets a bit boring, doesn't it, when it's standing around. Undeterred, the Craigs forge on, ever hopeful of finding new birds for their lists. This is spotted Craig at Lady Walk Nature Reserve, showing at 4, 10 p.m. In just one day, they've travelled from Somerset to Warwickshire, Lancashire and the Lake District. The yellow-billed cuckoo is not, repeat, not in the vegetation where it roosted. Now, just 24 hours after leaving their house, they arrive in Scotland, 450 miles from where they started off. Work's so busy, life's so busy. But then we actually can get away from it because there's this other passion in your life that takes over completely at the weekend. It is like going on holiday. It just feels like another world. The family are aiming to see a flock of tiger bean geese that have just arrived in the UK. Yeah. Come on, because they might, they might fly off. Come on. They won't. What are you reading, Maya? I was looking get a bean goose in this book. Is that your Collins? Collins Bird Guide. Is that one of your favourite books? One of our favourite books. <laughs> I spotted it! Can you see its bell? Yeah. What colour is that? Bright orange. Can you see anything else? Any other colour on its bill? A blacky bit. A bit of black on it as well. 
Can I have my breakfast now? Yeah, but have a look at the bill again. Yeah. Look at you, your breakfast. It's orangey and blacky. It's the biggest twitch of the autumn, and hundreds of people have descended on a quarry in South Shields. A bird has been spotted that is so rare that it's even made the national news. It's only a couple of inches long, but it's set the bird-watching world all of a flutter. The eastern crowned warbler normally spends its winters in Malaysia, but it's turned up on Tyneside, the first time it's ever been seen in this country. The birdwatcher who first spotted it said it was like winning the World Cup. The bird could fly off at any point, so getting to it in time is essential. The Craigs have driven through the night from Somerset to be in South Shields for first light. It's the first time one's ever been seen in the UK. I can't remember the last time it's been a bird that's never been seen before. Oh yeah, right out, fire. Oh, hi. I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Oh, goodness. I saw it. I see it fly across. It's actually a lifer for my father. That's a British tick, but it's a British tick for everyone. Because it's the first time it's been seen in Britain. But the Craigs are doing the long journey in reverse. Come on, hurry up. See your tick. And the life of me. Fresh from their success with the Eastern Crowned Warbler, they're on the sillies to search for more birds. What's bracken? Maya and her parents are still second in the year list rankings to Lee. Now whether or not Maya Rose will maintain an interest, who knows, you know. She's only seven years old, so she's a very nice young girl, you know. But you find with keen birding parents, they try and nurture their children into the hobby. They like to sort of present this aura that the whole family is a birding family. And then when the children grow up, you never see them again. If you force something upon someone, you, you will re very rarely find that they will, you know, they will take it on. You know, pe people have to make their own decisions in life. You can't make children be interested in bird watching if they don't want to be. It's not about getting Myers list to some sort of some high number so that she can be some protege but it's really not because chances are when she gets a bit older and she starts wanting to go to parties and things it'll slow down a bit and yeah you know, the aim is really for her to have an interest so that it stays with her have you seen this goldfinch it's just on the weed thing yeah it's really nice to be mm. that you've been after As well as Maya, the Craigs are twitching on the sillies with their older daughter and even their granddaughter. Oh, bumpy bump. You've got the crane on your list ready, haven't you? Start counting early. So do you think you'll all keep doing it as a family for, um, for a while together? No. Yeah, I, I think we will. No. I, well... What do you mean you don't want to? You enjoy it when you, when, once you're out. Do I now? Well, I'm not enjoying it now. The Craigs have seen 322 birds so far for their year list. And with the season ending, they've been spending less time twitching. Are you going to have a few days off? Um, I'll have a few more days off. Give you Christmas day off, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, unless it's really rare. But Maya sometimes does look a bit bored. 
Yeah, I Oh, I'm bored sometimes. Yeah, go on. I, you know. I've, I've stood for five hours or more waiting for birds before it's, you know, it's boring. The bottom line is if you're, if you're seven, you're going to demonstrate it a lot, you know, a lot more. But then you get the high of seeing it, hopefully. How have you found the year this thing? Would you do it again? It's uh, not something that I would uh, want to be doing every year. Sort of hats off to people who do it year in, year out. But uh, it's been good fun this year. So is lean number one? Oh, long way ahead. <laughs> <laughs> There's like never any doubt about that, honestly. As far as I know, the whole family's come second. It's extremely good. Well, I think I've come first, but I guess it's just luck.